Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Every now and then I do a relatively short Lightroom video where I'm covering one topic or one kind of hidden feature of Lightroom. And I found that when I do these shorter videos, I get a lot of comments from many of you telling me how much you enjoy these shorter Lightroom videos. So going forward, I'm going to attempt to do more of these shorter single topic Lightroom videos and today's video is no exception. Today we're going to be talking about targeted adjustments. Targeted adjustments is a tool inside a Lightroom that I think a lot of photographers don't even know is there or if they know it's there they just don't use it and I want to explain what targeted adjustments are and how you use them. Now they're found in two different sections of Lightroom in the develop module in the tone curve you'll see right here there's this little circle with a triangle on top and a triangle on bottom that's the targeted adjustment tool and you can see if i hover over it it says adjust point curve by dragging in the photo now it's saying point curve because i happen to have the point curve open but it's also available in the parametric curve in the red green and blue channels as well let's stay with the point curve and let's turn this on by clicking on it when I click on it, you'll see my cursor turns into that little circle with the two triangles and it has a little plus sign. What that is encouraging me to do is to click somewhere in the image and drag up or drag down with the mouse. And I want you to also note, if you look at the tone curve itself, and as I move the, my cursor around the image, there's a point on the curve because I'm using the point curve that is moving around as I move around. What it is doing is it is showing us, let's say if I'm on this blue sky, that blue sky has a specific luminance level and where that point is on the curve right now is the luminance level of that blue sky. If I go let's say on the darker part of the sand you can see that the point curve or the point on the curve is very low to the lower left. That is the luminance level of that darker sand. So let's say I want to make the blue sky darker. I would put the cursor over the blue sky. It puts a point or it shows a point on the curve that represents the luminance level of that blue sky. I click with the left mouse button. Now when I do, the cursor disappears. So you're not going to know what I'm doing next. But I am holding in the left mouse button and I'm dragging down with the mouse. I'm just pulling the curve down at that point. So it's a way you could target specific tones in the image. You want to make this gray a little brighter? Push that up. You want to make the sand a little brighter? Click on the sand and push that up. So you could see how we're adding points. Every time I clicked with the mouse and dragged, I added points. In this case, three. I added one for the blue sky, one for the gray clouds, and one for this sand. And you could see it added those points. I targeted those tones in the image with this tool. When you're done with the tool, just click on it again and you're done. Now I mentioned it's found in two different places inside a Lightroom. Not only the tone curve, it's also found in the HSL panel. You could see it's right here. I have the luminance tab open and it's right there. It's also available in the saturation tab and the hue tab. Now it's not available in the color tab at all. So if you use the color section of the HSL color tab, you won't be able to make a targeted adjustment. You only could do it in HSL. And as I mentioned, you could do it in hue, saturation, luminance, and in all. If you go to all, you could see it has three of them there, one for each of hue, saturation, and luminance. Let's go to luminance. All right, turn it on by clicking on it. I get that same exact looking cursor. And let's say I want to make the blue sky darker. I'm in the luminance section of the HSL tab where I'd be affecting the brightness and darkness of a color. I want to click on that blue sky. And of course, the cursor disappears. I'm dragging down with the mouse. I'm making the blues darker. But see, it's moving the blue slider mostly, but it also moved the aqua slider just a little bit. Now I want to make the sand brighter. I'll click on the sand and push up with the mouse and you can see it's moving the orange and yellow sliders to make the sand brighter. Now unfortunately this tool isn't intelligent in that it knows that you're clicking on sky or it knows that you're clicking on water. It won't be able to tell the difference. So if I wanted to let's say make the sky dark by clicking on the blue sky and pulling down and make the blue water brighter by clicking on that and dragging up, it's not gonna know. It's just gonna make all the blues 
and aqua is brighter equally no matter where those pixels are in the image so it isn't as effective as i guess we could hope it would be but it is still relatively effective in that it saves a lot of time instead of let's say if i wanted to make the sand brighter and moving the orange and yellow sliders manually individually could get the right mix of making it brighter i could just use the targeted adjustment tool click on it and push up make it darker push down simple as that so targeted adjustments in lightroom again i think it's kind of underutilized uh, but it is very handy and i use it when i'm in a hurry uh, i don't use it as much if i have time to you know adjust the image manually you know and take my time with every slider and make sure they're exactly what I, where i want them but when i am in a hurry i always use targeted adjustments and i think you you'll find them useful as well thank you everyone who watches my videos i really do appreciate it talk to you guys soon <laughs>